Welcome to the Master Cars Pro channel. Today we'll talk about the problems and weaknesses of Toyota Avensis. The interior of the Toyota Avensis is well screwed together, but the dashboard plastics come in some very unappealing plastics which could scratch, so check the door panels around the grab uh, handle for wear and around the ignition slot on T2 and TR models for marks where owners might have damaged it with the key. T4 and T uh, Spirit uh, models have push button start which solves that problem. The events is, is a big car and the only top models came with parking sensors which means the bumpers may have, uh, may have some scrapes. Uh, paint repairs can be costly so give the car uh, throughout going over uh, alloys are also susceptible to damage, especially if the car lives in an urban environment. If every wheel is marked, uh, then be alert for uh, other signs that point to a general lack of care for the car. In 2010, a recall was launched related to the accelerator, which may not return to its idle position, or if it does, returns too slowly. Recalled vehicles will have had the pedal assembly modified to prevent this from happening. There was another recall related to the rear suspension arms to check the condition of them and the torque settings. If the rear suspension arm is adjusted as part of a wheel alignment or has had other repairs done to it while it is in for a service, it is possible that backlash can occur and could result in failure of the arm with the result in loss of control of the vehicle. Check with your local Toyota dealership to make sure these recalls have been carried out. Unfortunately, they weren't enough in entries to include the Toyota Avensis in our latest reliability survey, but the brand did come in third place out of uh, 32 other car brands. This should give you plenty of confidence that the Avensis will give you reliable service. The range starts with T2, which gets aircon, CD player, electric uh, front windows, driver's seat, uh, height adjustment and 7 airbags. But it's uh, rather basic, so it just uh, suggests you look for a TR model, which adds uh, 17 in alloy wheels, front fog lights, uh, climate control, Bluetooth, cruise control, electric rear windows, automatic headlights, and an electrically adjustable driver's lumbar support. T4 spec cars get electrically adjustable leather seats and push button start. T Spirit Nav adds BI Hexon um, headlights and sat nav. If you need to go to petrol, stick with the 1.8 liter uh, rather than the 1.6 liter because it has the same fuel economy figures with a bit more power to help move the rather sizable advances around. Of the diesels, go for the 2.0 liter diesel in the post facelift car because 60 plus mpg and low road tax is very appealing. If your budget cannot stretch to one, the 2.0 zero liter uh, diesel in the pre facelift car is a good compromise of performance and economy. The thorn in the Avensis uh, sides has uh, always been the Ford Mondeo. The problem is that the Mondeo does everything really well, often much better than the Avensis can. Uh, it is also freely uh, available everywhere because it's sold in much greater numbers than the Toyota Avensis Finding a well-equipped uh, Mondeo with excellent history isn't hard, which is why it is the better used car buy. The Volkswagen Passat is much classier than the Avensis and doesn't have an interior filled with cheap plastics. It really does have the feel of a more upmarket model, even if it doesn't uh, quite have the same aspirational pull of a BMW or Audi. If you want a motorway mile muncher, then the Vauxhall Insignia is worth a shot. The diesels are rather efficient and the interiors is a rather nice place to pass the time. Uh, once you have gotten past the daunting myriad of buttons strewn across the dashboard of early examples. Well, if you are the owner of this car, 
then please describe the problems that you had to face during the operation of the car. Perhaps it is your feedback that'll help viewers when choosing a car. That's it for today. Thanks everyone for attention. It isn't much work for you to subscribe to the channel. See you soon.